Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's episode we'll be making two cards um, for my power tools. One of the cards will be for my pillar drill and an air compressor 50 litre one which will be stored underneath. And the second card will be for my bandsaw with some storage underneath uh, for my Triton sander and for the scroll saw. As you know, most of my projects are on the budget, so I'm going to be using what I've got in the workshop. So the construction of these cards are very simple, uh, but at the same time very sturdy and hopefully long lasting. So I'm going to be using some studs. They are 38 millimeters by 68 millimeters by, well, the ones I've got 2.4 meters. I'm going to be cutting them to length and size and I'm going to be using some 12 millimeter plywood, hardwood. Um, obviously in some parts I will have to double them up for the extra thickness. The first thing I'm going to do is rip the plywood into the correct pieces I need on my tables. <laughs> Our plywood is now cut to the right size, so it's time to cut out the studs to the correct sizes as well. As you can see, I'm using my uh, mitre saw to do that. Now as you can see I'm just laminating the plywood in total I need a three uh, thicker pieces uh, for the tops and for the bottoms um, of the carts. The way I'm going to join the whole construction is through pocket holes. Um, usually I would use glue as well, but actually I need to be able to take the whole construction down easily. Hence, I'm just going to be using uh, pocket holes and screws. By all means, if you're doing it something similar in your garage, use uh, <laughs> you know use your wood glue that always um, helps the stability of the whole cart. But unfortunately, I have to do it with screws only. Now it's time to put um, all the cards together. The first one is the, the one that will be holding the pillar drill and the air compressor. And now it's time to install the casters. Second card, exactly the same process, although we do not have the um, 
the stud support on the basis as you can see the the legs the sides are basically screwed into the tops and bottoms straight away hence that's why we actually doubled up the plywood here again it's because i need every single inch uh, to be able to squeeze it into the designated space if you're not confined by the space make your own measurements and make it to fit your needs Right, so both of the cards are now put together as you've seen it's a fairly simple construction but please do remember the size of these are absolutely dictated by the space I've got on each side of my bench and these actually hardly squeeze in in those spaces so obviously if you're not confined to your space just make the measurements uh, to what you basically need now because they are very tall as they are matching the height of my workbench uh, we need to add a little bit of stability now to do that I'm just going to be adding 18 mil plywood sheets uh, basically on the sides and on the back now I was really hoping that that wouldn't be necessary because it's additional cost and as you <laughs> as you can see I actually didn't have board that were wide enough so you know I had to come up with something and that's I've just added a strip basically on these um, and obviously this will add um, enough security and enough stability to both of these cars I'm just going to be using pocket hole uh, to get them installed Okay, so the boxes are now more or less finished uh, the one that will be holding the pillar drill and the compressor there's well basically that's it there's nothing else to it it's just the box itself but this bigger one will be actually holding two tools inside uh, mainly my triton um, orbital belt sander and the spindle sander and on the bottom i will have my scroll saw now it would be quite difficult to get you know in out and all that so i thought to myself i'm going to make some shelves and i'm going to be using these full extension drawer sliders but um, as you know i'm working to a very tight space and basically i cannot use them as you normally would use um, on a shelf like so so i have to actually do them flat go flat so um, I've not mounted anything like this in this particular way so it will be interesting to see if that's actually gonna work at all so that's what I'm gonna be doing now I'm gonna just create a shelf with the um, the studs I had here just like so put the sliders on top and 12 millimeter MDF board and I'm gonna do the same at the bottom obviously without that as uh, I'm just going to be using the the bottom of of the cart itself and I'm going to mount these uh, to that and again 12 millimeter um, MDF
and there you go guys fairly simple project as you can see um, you know I'm been using really cheap materials to do this some leftovers from the workshop so it may not be pretty but it definitely gonna improve the space in my workshop and accessibility to all my tools um, without a major hassle really happy with the two shelves down there uh, you know I can easily access the the tools themselves without much of a hassle and they are fairly light anyway and just whack them on my workbench with no problem at all with the smaller card with the air compressor I've got down there I was actually quite afraid where that the box itself it will actually create more noise from the air compressor but actually it's not too bad I think it's a little bit quieter but I'm still planning to insulate it with some sort of a material that absorb the noise from the air compressor because it is quite loud um, if you've got anything any any product I could use it needs to be really thin to be able to fit in there um, if you do have a product like that um, or you are aware of it just drop me a comment um, with the link uh, down below I would appreciate that greatly and this is how it looks like when everything's in place as you can see I've got one straight line uh, with all my major power tools uh, saving me a ton of space in the rest of the workshop now a few more things I need to do to the workbench to actually improve it and add some features so there will be some videos coming up in the future. If you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel uh, so you don't miss any of those videos. For today though guys that's all, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did drop me that like button down below and I hope to see you on my next Woodworker Adventure. Till then, take care.